Hi, this is Thesia of Bella's Family Farm, and I was quiet because it's very early and everybody else is asleep, but I'm in the truck, so. <laughs> okay, I've got, but we got the, as we showed you on the last video, the the birds are all loaded up and hot in there in the back of the truck now, and I'm on my way to Chiptopa, Kansas, so I can get my first batch of turkey birds processed, and this is kind of, kind of exciting. Well, I got the turkeys delivered, and I'm about to go pick them up here in a few minutes. Uh, there's a, I, I drop them, it's early when I get them up there, but that's cool. By the time I get them, by the time I get up here to Kansas, it's nearly 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I get them dropped off, and then there's a, a little cafe up in Oswego, Kansas, and I don't know, I just really like it. They don't, you, uh, there was one person that wore a mask, and he was a delivery guy, and he was in and out, thank God, you know, and I felt sorry for him. I feel sorry for anybody who, who has to wear a mask, but that's beside the point. It's just, they know you. The, I mean, it had been months since I've been in there, and the lady goes, oh, did you bring more chickens? And I'm going, nope, turkeys this time. So, it, I enjoy this cafe, you know, right. That time of day, it's only just old men sitting around and gossiping. <laughs> but it's fun. There was another woman in there, and I asked her, I said, are you usually only woman in here? And she goes, yeah. <laughs> but I enjoy it. I, I'm comfortable there. You know, I sit at the counter, listen to, listen to. And the lady who owns the place, whenever I was there, she was running the grill, filling the coffee cups and, and delivering food and and seems to be enjoying, enjoying life. And I just, I just enjoy having breakfast there. Even if I can't have too much breakfast food anymore, I will go up there and eat something you know and enjoy the company and then there's this uh, park and i'll get out here in a moment the wind is high up here it's apparently it's even higher up here in kansas than it is at home because they're in a wind advisory and fire advisory and stuff up here so and we're not back home but this is a, a park and i've shown it to you before it's right here on the neosha river and i love this river it's way down right now because usually when i'm up here it's already been raining and raining and then it's way high but this time it's down but this is a i think it's a veterans park they got really good wi-fi here so i can sit here and i can get caught up on some paperwork and some book work and get things done so uh i enjoy doing that too well i enjoy having the place to be able to do that and i'm grateful for that too and uh but i'll show you around up here just briefly because like i said it is quite windy and then it's going to be time for me to go back and pick up my birds and go home because I've got other stuff to do at home there too. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested to see what my, my, uh, my turkeys end up weighing. So let's go find out in a few minutes. But first, let's look at the river so you can see what's going on here. I think what I will do is I will show you around, but I'm probably not going to talk. I'll just show you because the wind is high enough that I'm probably just going to have to take the audio out and put some music to it but I'll just I'll just show you around a little bit and then uh, if if uh, I need to comment on something I can I can type it in or whatever but uh, but I'll, but I'm not going to do any commenting while I'm while I'm showing you I forgot to show you. I've got the turkeys up in here. I already gave one to a friend, but uh, here's the turkeys. I've got them stashed in the refrigerator here for right now. And uh, so, yep, ended up being pretty good. My lightest one weighed right at 10 pounds. 
and my heaviest one weighed 14 pounds 8 ounces. So they weren't monsters, but I think that's okay too.